Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale 5188 cubic foot covered hopper from Scale Trains. My example is part of the Scale Trains rivet counter line and is decorated in the BNSF brown scheme with white lettering. I also have another car in the BNSF gray scheme with a Santa Fe Herald. Scale Trains also offers these cars and other paint schemes with prototype specific detail. I got my car for $39.99 direct from Scale Trains. So let's put 100 points on the board and see how this one does. The model comes packaged in a cardboard box. Inside is a two-piece plastic cradle for the car. The car itself is wrapped in a protective plastic sheet. This looks like a well-designed box that should protect the model when stored or transported. Also included is some documentation with historical information about the prototype and exploded view drawings. Production of these cars began in 2007. I did some research and although I was not able to find a photo of this particular car, I found a photo of BNSF 487-995, just one number off. The model appears to match the photo exactly with respect to both paint and details. That's excellent. The paint on the model is crisp and thin enough not to obscure the details too much. The markings are slightly fuzzy and smeared in spots, which is a disappointment, though this probably won't be too noticeable with some weathering. Still, on a car as expensive as this, I think it could be done better, so I'm taking five points. This car has rotating end caps on the trucks. On the ends, the car has uncoupling levers, air hoses, photo etched crossover platforms, and very nicely done delicate ladders. The B end has really good brake system detail. On top, the car has great looking photo etched walkways and really nice hatch detail. One nice thing is that the roof walk supports are part of the roof walk itself and should be less susceptible to temperature changes than some other models. Underneath, the car has good plumbing and discharge gate detail. There are even holes in the frame that are hard to see for most viewing angles. This is really good attention to detail. The car is equipped with scale trains knuckle couplers. The coupler on the A end is low, so I'm taking five points. The one on the B end is also slightly low, though closer to correct than the A end. I'm taking another five points for that one. It's worth noting that these couplers do not have magnetic trip pins, so they won't work with magnetic uncouplers. All the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. Unfortunately, the car wobbles. It might be possible to fix this by tightening one of the bolster screws. I'm taking five points for that. The model is very free rolling. The car weighs 4.4 ounces. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is 4.75 ounces, so the model is close. It might be possible to add a small amount of weight under the car in the recesses between the discharge gates. Let's take a look at what we've got. Though the car looks great overall, some of the markings are a little sloppy, so I took five points in the paint and detail category. Both couplers are low and the car wobbles, so I took 15 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 80 out of 100 possible points, which would be a solid B- on a report card. Most of the issues with this car can be easily fixed, so I feel very comfortable giving it a green signal. This is a nice looking, accurate car that would make a great addition to any modern era HO scale layout. Most of the issues are minor and fixable. If you're looking for a modern era BNSF hopper, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. 